it's not a game, it's a rich thing. Hey guys, I'm Hiran and this is Double H. So the highly anticipated Cyberpunk 2077 game has been released and let's just say there has been a few speed bumps but this video I'll be testing out the FPS that you'll get on the ASUS Top FX505 GT with 1650 graphics card with 4GB of VRAM and an Intel i7 9750H. Well just for the sake of the video I'm also including Red Dead Redemption 2 so yeah let's go on. Let's start with Cyberpunk 2077. So this is the ultra preset for the game and as you guys can see the FPS is really go really low as expected because it only has 4GB of VRAM and well it is a laptop so the cooling isn't as efficient as, as it can be and here we're getting an average of about 20 FPS. It does go really down to about 15 FPS when there's a lot of crowd, a lot of people around and it does go up to about 30 fps but it's a really high fluctuation so we can just give it an average of about 15 or 20. driving is really painful in the ultra settings because the fps fluctuates depending on where you go so if you're in a clean space uh, i guess where there's not much of a graphical demand it goes pretty smoothly but when you come into a corner where there's a lot of people or where there where there's a lot of lights and stuff like that it suddenly goes down fps now during gunfights these fps is i'm not sure but i guess it's a little bit more stable so it's about 20 fps at average now I really don't recommend playing on ultra settings on this laptop because well usually 30 fps is bare minimum you need to play on a game well 24 fps is but that's like the very minimum and this is lower than that it can drop even below than 50 fps so I don't think you should play on the higher setting. Switching to low preset we can see an instant increase in fps though not significant like it doesn't go to 50 fps or anywhere like that it's still near 30 to 25 fps and in certain areas it does go to about 40. even in the low preset the game looks really damn good so if you don't want to tamper too much in the graphic settings of the game you can well, totally go to the lowest setting and play the game as it is Driving cars in the lower setting is way better compared to the ultra settings. The controls feel more responsive. As you guys can see there is a fluctuation to about 15 fps but that's mostly due to the recording software I use. There are a number of background applications that I've turned on here so I'd say increase the fps you see here by about 5 or 7. It does seem like the game is more graphical intensive while driving cars so while you're on your foot the FPS is kind of way better you get about 40 FPS right here so the average is it does fluctuate so the average is about 35 FPS
Okay, so here I'm playing the game at an optimized setting. So I'm using some specific settings in order to get the maximum FPS possible while getting the best visual quality. I will be sharing this setting in a while. As you guys can see, the graphics quality is pretty good and the FPS doesn't go below 30 FPS. So the average is about 30 FPS and we're still getting really good visual quality. Here are the optimized settings for the game. Field of view 70 and Film grain, chromatic aberration, tap the field, lens flare, motion blur, that's all up to you. On the advanced settings, sh contact shadows on, improved facial light and geometry on, anisotropy 16, local shadow mesh quality medium, local shadow quality medium, cascaded shadows range medium, cascaded shadow resolution medium, cascaded distance shadow resolution low, volumetric cloud resolution medium, volumetric cloud quality medium, Max dynamic decals medium, screen space reflection quality high, subsurface scattering quality medium, ambient occlusion low, color position medium, mirror quality high, level of detail high. And if you want, you can turn on dynamic fidelity FX CAS. What it does is it reduces the resolution in order to hit a uh, target FPS. For example, if you keep it at 50, it will try to keep the FPS at 50 while reducing the resolution. Although I do not use this setting right now because I don't feel like it's really good, it doesn't work properly. Another way is by reducing the resolution to 1600 by 900 or to 1360 by 768. These are all the same as ratio that is 16 is to 9 and they are lower resolution so it is not that taxing for the GPU. Next up, Red Dead Redemption 2. Starting off with the lowest preset, Favorite Performance. The game looks pretty good at Favorite Performance, uh, that is the lowest graphic settings preset. This might be good enough for some people, but still. The detail on the character's shirt, well, on the clothing, his hat, the details on the horse, the ground, everything looks kind of blurry. There's not much detail and it looks kind of flat. Nonetheless, we are getting a significant amount of FPS as compared to Cyberpunk. It does average about 40 FPS. So this might be the way to go for some people. As you guys can see, in the areas where there's a lot of grass, the ground does look really good, but the dirt does not look good, that is. This is because texture is really low in the favorite performance setting and texture does take up a significant amount of VRAM. So if you do dial down textures, this is how it's gonna look like.
Now at the ultra setting, the game looks really good. And well, this is not the best setting possible because in this laptop, the ultra setting isn't the same as compared to graphics cards. We can enable uh, ray tracing and stuff like that. So yeah, this is the best that you can do in this PC. So here on the ultra settings on the A2 stuff FX505 GT, we are averaging 30 FPS. That is really good considering the fact that on Cyberpunk we were getting about 15 FPS and somewhere like that. But here it is pretty consistent and it does not go beyond 25 FPS and well it's generally really good. Just like Cyberpunk 2077, there is a way to get well optimize the graphic settings to get best FPS as well as the best graphic settings. The Fidelity would be almost as good as the ultra setting and you will be getting a decent amount of FPS. So stay tuned for that. Okay guys, so this is the optimized setting. You will be able to get the best fidelity and the best FPS possible out of that. Just copy what I'm doing 
and you'll be able to get that optimized setting. Basically what we're doing here is we are cutting down the graphic settings which are not that noticeable which will give us an FPS boost. So that's it for this video guys, I hope this video was helpful and if you have an ASUS TUF FX505 GT laptop and you bought it because I recommended it, please give this video a like and do comment down below. So this was the FPS test for Cyberpunk 2077 as well as Red Dead Redemption 2. Some of you did ask if Red Dead Redemption 2 is playable on this PC, so that's why I included it. Anyways, that's all this video guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.